Hi, this is Ron Mitchin playing the Hunter on PC. Today we're taking a look at a brand new crossbow pistol. It's just come out. Every crossbow enthusiast's best friend when it comes to small game hunting features a self cocking mechanism which significantly improves reloading times compared to other crossbows. Even though it's small, it packs a punch. The scopes that fit this are the two times crossbow pistol scope, two times zoom. Um, the reticle is a red dot, it takes crossbow bolts, ethical species for this and it may change are the American Black Duck, the Arctic Fox, the Bobcat, the Canada Goose, Cottontail Rabbit, Eurasian Lynx, European Rabbit, the Gadwall, the Magpie Goose, Mallard, Northern Pintail, Pheasant, Red Fox, Rock Ptarmigan, Snowshoe Hare, Turkey, Whitetail Ptarmigan and a Willow Ptarmigan. As I just said that may change, we're just taking a look in third person showing you the crossbow up close, reload animation, what it looks like. I'm going to add the scope in a minute. Then we're going to take a few shots at the shooting range because we want to see how it shoots, um, how accurate it is, what the distance is like with this weapon. Let's just add some bolts, take a shot, and you can see what the reload animation is like. So, nice, quick, clean reload animation. Lots of detail paid to it. I like how the colour scheme is as well. Black and gold really stands out, especially with like the yellow goldy bolts. As you can see, all very crisp. Well done. At first I wasn't sure when they announced this. I thought, mm, I don't know, I've got crossbows, I've got bows, do I need this? But I do like the amount of effort that's been put into everything. Look at the reload animation. Lots of work's gone into it. Nice and simple, but works well. Lots of little moving parts. Now I'll do it third person now, so you can see um, the other animation. Just had a look at him first. Let's fire a bolt, here we go. I'll do it a couple of times, just so you can see. So lots of nice little detail gone into it. We're gonna put the scope on, we'll have a quick look at that, and then we're gonna do some shots at the range. Be interesting to see how accurate it is at short distances and then longer distance. I don't think you're going to be firing this very far, um, probably 20 to 40 meters, but we will we'll see once we have a shot at these targets, see how easy it is to use. With the release of the crossbow pistol, there's also a comp tied to it, the pistol and crossbow conundrum comp. Combine average score of your highest scoring cottontail rabbit, European rabbit and snowshoe here. I think I will actually um, try and hunt one of those after we've tested it at the range and we've got the drop dialed in and we know where to hit the rabbits. Right, we're at the 15 meter range. There you go. Just behind where we've just been standing at White Hart, North White Hart. Let's see what this is like. First we'll do iron sighted. 15 meters, iron sighted. That's pretty bang on, so pretty simple. 15 meters is easy with no scope. If you haven't got the scope, then it doesn't matter this distance. The next one we're gonna do, do one more, is we're gonna do the 35 meter one. So pretty on target there. Nothing to worry about. So 15 meters, we know it's fine. It looks like it's about flat shooting range there as well. The next one is 35 meters now. I don't know how this one's gonna go, but we'll soon see. We'll try iron sight first, and then we'll try it with a scope if we need it. I don't know how much this is gonna drop. We'll soon see, let's just load it up. Right, here it goes. Let's steady up. Now look, that looked like it was quite a lot below. Let's get the binos out and just have a quick look at that on the range. Yeah, that's really low. It's just on the bottom of the target. It's not in the actual circle, but just on the rim at the target, the bottom edge. So we need to go up. Just go up a bit more. What's that like? That's still a bit low, is it? Yeah. With what? few centimeters down and a bit to the right so we need to be a bit more accurate and a bit higher up this is important when you try and bows out and stuff uh, just to dial it in so um, 
I think the red dot is really going to help once you get probably past 20, 25 meters with this pistol. It's quite hard to judge where to fire. We'll have a look at the uh, target and just see exactly where we come. So yeah, still quite low there. That's only 35 meters. So realistically, you can be firing it between 15 to 30 meters probably. Mac probably 40 to 50 meters with practice with a scope on at like sort of the upper limits. Obviously some people like me will probably do some silly shots uh, and some people will hit them at, at extreme ranges but for everyday use and you want to get that animal. Imagine it's a trophy animal. You're not going to risk 100 meter shot. You're going to be doing 30 meters probably tops of it. So uh, here it goes with the scope. Let's have a look. We know the rough drop now. It was about top of this sign. So that was a bit low I think. Yeah, a bit low. So it's just above the sign. That's quite a bit of drop in a short distance. And it's not easy either. Now that looked quite sweet. Let's go check that. That looked like a bullseye there. So probably about half a centimetre above the sign. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at that, right in the middle. So we've got it dialed in there, just a bit above um, the target, probably about a centimetre above, at 35 metres. So I've come to loggers point now because, like I was saying with the comp, we're after cotton tails. Uh, that's one of the target animals of the comp. And I'm going to show you where to get them. We're starting here. A lot of people seem to struggle with cotton tails. Well, you don't need to. I'm going to show you a simple spot where to go. You can either start at the lodge at the bottom and walk straight up the path and hunt this area, or you can drop a tent where I am now. I'm just going to mark this area in pen. You can't get this wrong. Cotton tails all around there. So if you ain't got a tent, you can start at the lodge, or you can start at my tent position there. My coordinates are there as well. So put a tent there, drop straight in, and there's cotton tails everywhere, as you will see. We're just going to walk straight forward. I'm not going to go hunting all the species, I'm just going um, after a cottontail just to show you what it's like on a real animal. So there you go, cottontail track straight away. Let's see if we can find a nice one. Ideally you want the highest average score in this competition of your cottontail, European rabbit and snowshoe here. So obviously we're after cottontail, so we want one. They go up to like two. Uh, 2000, so you want either sort of like high 1800 or above. Uh, and it's like the weight basically what you're going on. So you want a high weighted track. Hopefully we'll find something nice. You just check all around these meadows in this middle area and the logged area and you should find the rabbits pretty quick. Today uh, Tree Kiwi has brought out a new status update and in that status update there's been some great talk about a new gun coming called the Scout. There has been uh, options people have been voting on for what round you want to go in it. And they've just swapped the 7mm one to a different 7mm uh, one. It's a 7mm 08 round, which is not the same as a normal 7mm in the game currently. Um, so they've reset the poll and they're doing it so uh, you can fit in other ethical animals and stuff. So that'll be interesting to see how that plays. Also, the Scout is going to be interesting because it's got a folding bipod. Uh, so that means it should be more stable. It'll be interesting to see what how that affects long shots, uh, if it's more steady. I'm assuming it'll probably be like being in a tower and aiming your gun because when it's really flat. We've got Rabbit in front of us. Cotton Tail. Uh, it could be quite a big one, so I'm going to try and sneak up on this one. It's up to two kilo. We did just nearly tread on it and that's the weird thing about these rabbits. Sometimes you can be running around and literally tread on them and sometimes they'll spot you from 200 meters away. It's really odd. Uh, a shotgun and running around like that can be very effective if you want to get a lot of uh, rabbits in one go. Some people use air rifles and do it stealthily from range. You need to learn the drop on that though. Um, with this crossbow obverset, when you fire that bolt, as soon as that goes near it, it's going to spook the rabbit, so you need to make sure you hit it. We know what the range is, roughly up to about 35 metres of it. 
but if you get it close then that rabbit's going to run off this is quite a big one as well so i don't re want to really mess this up so we've got the scat coming out in december still not heard much about the vehicle um i think they've left that for a bit while they're dealing with the scat and when that comes out maybe we'll hear more about the vehicle you might get a vehicle for christmas i don't know about that um but i'm sure we'll hear about it by then or, or maybe hear more what have you been hunting this week have you had any rares any trophies um, drop them in the comments always like to see hear what you've done i do check discord a lot i uh, talk with a lot of you on discord have a joke around see the trophy shots you've done for both call of Wild and classic do like to see what you've been getting some people uh, someone today had a massive moves like 240 plus uh, i was really astonished by that because that's massive that's like once in a lifetime moves um, lots of big white tails, non typicals, rares. Uh, so there's been some great animals. Uh, keep that up. Like I say, drop it in the comments. If you've had anything special that really means something to you, Ron does like to hear about that. We're going to go up this left bank. It doesn't look like it's spooked. And I think if we get this bit of height on it, we should just catch it. And then it should be quite a simple shot. You never know there with rabbits because they sit on the hind legs and they have a look around. You can see the neck and the check of that. If it sees you, you're going to hear it th like thumping feet as it runs away. So it must be very close now. That's ideally what we want. This crossbow is not bad, but uh, the range is quite short. So you're going to have to be very precise with that. I want to try with a bit of practice on shooting ducks and geese out the sky with it. That's going to take some doing. Um, but that should be lots of fun. I think that's the best thing about what this will be good for is you know, when you fancy a bit of fun in multiplayer or with other people or on yourself, just doing some tricky shots of it, like trying to shoot pheasants out of the air, uh, ducks or geese. Let me know if you do that. Ron does want to hear about it uh, because that will be quite a feat with this. Right, where are you, rabbit? You must be close. I can hear you. Come on. Now there's a track down there, but it's closer than that. I can hear it. Where is it? Come on. There it is. It's, I'm sure it's looking at me. Oh, I've hit it. It's ran off. <laughs> it's ran. How's that ran off? It should be skewered. That should be kebab meat. I don't believe that. Body? <laughs> The bolt's bigger than the rabbit. <laughs> what a great bolt. Oh, I don't believe that. Alright, oh, it's here. Good job. Rod was going to like uh, go on one there, I think. <laughs> there you are, it's sticking out the back of it. Looks like it's snapped off, or I don't know if it's gone through it. But at least Ron got it. What's it going to score? Let's have a look, shall we? It scores. 1766 so not as big as I first thought but that's quite a good one for my first one got my achievement so that's been me Ron McTube we've been taking a look at a brand new crossbow pistol hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching bye bye